as many of you may know, this is, uh, this is a beater jag. All jigs, you know, they're from factory in the claws when you buy them, it just says you gotta beat the shit out of them and not do any maintenance. Exactly. So that's basically what we tend to do. Um, especially when you pick it up for like sub 100 bucks. Yeah, we've traded some parts for traded it. some fucking parts for this. These thing. guys are the sketchiest guys we've ever yeah. seen though. Set needed a brake caliper and the jack shaft bearing was just absolutely dead. Also didn't have a bolt in the secondary or yeah. anything on it. Um, yeah, but. To lose the air box, if you ever take an air box out of one of these, it's the worst it's job ever. Got to take the whole tank off. Luckily, I had my mechanic behind the camera working on it for me at the time. Yep. Um, Put a whole new jack shaft. Didn't even paint the jack shaft. Let it rust tight. Yeah. But um, that's all right. Um, all balls bearings in there. We just swapped the coil from our min to 80 to 89 jag. Right. Um, because this thing was having some problems. It was loaded bouncing up. Bouncing around because the mounts were just schmidt on the other one. So, got yeah. this one bolted in. Um, took off. What's the, the real purpose of the video? Yeah, what's, what's took off the can. Yeah, a lot of you guys, you know, I'll see videos on there about straight piping them. Yeah. And that's fine. It's good. It's just, you know, with this, you can see the dingo there. You can has, see how this doesn't have an exit. It kind of just builds up the combustion in here. And if you guys aren't running an air box, yeah. what happens is the all the nasty fumes that this thing's burning just get collects in, in the, the cabin here. And in your fan. So you're sucking in this disgusting, toxic air that's already been burned, trying to right. go back in the car. You're burning the burnt air. And, and let me tell you, these carbs do not like, like stinky air. Mm -mm. Like you, we'll show you the difference between this thing with the hood open versus the hood closed. But they do sound gnarly. Yeah. And it, it, it really isn't going to hurt anything not running the exhaust because this this pipe is tuned. That's just a silencer box on there. Right. So you're not really going to hurt anything. Yeah. What we're going to do, guys, is we're going to make a snorkel out of this old pipe here, and it's going to go up and through the uh, dash console here with that factory. Uh, what is this stuff? White stuff all over. Bird Schmidt. <laughs> Just um, terrible, boys. Terrible. Yeah. So we're going to hole saw a hole in here. Uh -huh. Once you get that fresh, cold Arctic air filtered into that car. We're not going to put a mesh screen on, so we're just going to have snow being shut down. And it's down easy like to it. choke it then when it's cold. You just put your hand over it. You know, right. you can do it. No need, to, no need for the choke cable. You could delete that for weight reduction. But weight uh, reduction they do sound good, guys. We'll do a little sound clip here of uh, no exhaust, Articat Jag, yep. uh, 96, 440. I See if she'll send. I started earlier, so... Oh no! Oh! Oh yeah! Yeah, you're fine. But anyway, anyways, guys, whenever you take those exhausts off, you want to make sure you're going to get a good exit because yeah, uh, it's going to screw you. Yeah, we're going to try to get a piece of stove pipe, kind of to put down there. Yeah. Pipe stove pipe? To, to kind of put down through a hole there. Exactly. Just so we can get to exit a little bit. But yeah, she sounds like like the redheaded stepchild that you beat up last night. Like it sounds wicked. I mean, wicked. Oh yeah. So you, the, the DNR, which is the guys like, you know, the, the police of the environment around yeah, they're, here. They're like the mall cops of police, of the, of the trails. <laughs> so they place. don't like yeah. when you have that, yeah. can, like no exhaust. Um, but yeah, guys, just keep that in mind. If you're ever going to straight pipe one of these, you got to make sure you don't get that nasty, unfiltered air back in. If we had the air box on, we probably wouldn't be at a problem. It's just, I don't want to take the entire console back apart to put it on. Yeah. So we're going to make a snorkel for a couple of dollars at, you know, Princess Auto or whatever. Yeah. Even though we're in the U.S., though. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Give me some warmers and thumb warmers work on this thing, though. Oh, yeah. They'll right. cook you out. But, yeah. Seats still not attached. Yep. Not even attached. Oh, really? No, we never put the bolts in. Dude. Self-tappers in the wood. So basically, if you want to have a good time in the winter with your buddies, grab a case of bush light and grab an Articat and just fucking beat the piss. We should be spokesperson. We have so many Articats and we just pound them. Yeah. I mean, I do have my Articat ja jacket from when I was on the panel, but. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We need to get the brake. A buddy has one in the junkyard. Brake cal. Oh, 
Brake caliper, guys, we'll put on here because we've been riding this thing for two seasons with no brakes. And I've just been flintstoning it the whole time. <laughs> exactly, just flintstoning it. A couple more sleds in here, guys. Um, just put some over. Phaser, SRV is an Indy over there, too. A uh, bunch of mowers in here, too. But yeah. yeah, just wanted to do a little cool video on uh, what this drag sounds like straight piped. And uh, a little bit. yeah. There you have it, boys. Hopefully you enjoyed this quick little video. Um, hope that once the weather gets cold here, we'll we'll lean them down and burn them down. Your track is absolutely perfect on the snowmobile. It's literally brand new.